We're here at the North Carolina Museum of History and we're able to commemorate the Tuskegee Airmen with various artifacts, including this one that I have here beside me. It's a commemorative jacket that was worn by one of the Tuskegee Airmen. It's a post-World War II jacket. It's a replica of a World War II aviator's flight jacket. It belonged to Colonel Vernon Haywood. Now, Colonel Haywood was a native of Raleigh. He was always fascinated by flight as a young man. And in the late 1930s, he went and enrolled at Hampton University in Virginia, which was one of the few colleges at that time that offered a aviation training program for African-American students. When he graduated from there, he moved on to the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, which was the only location in the United States at that time that was training young black men to be pilots in combat during World War II. After Haywood and his colleagues leave Alabama, they go to the Mediterranean theater of war. They're first used on harbor patrol there. They're using P-39 Air Cobra aircraft. The aircraft that are represented on the back of the jacket are the various aircraft that are flown by the Tuskegee Airmen. They will fly hundreds of missions throughout World War II. They wind up being one of the best escort units for bombers as they go into Italy and into Germany in the latter half of the war. Supposedly, the red tails as they become known because of the distinctive red tail on their aircraft, supposedly they never lose a bomber that they escort during the war. After the war, Colonel Haywood becomes one of the first African-American jet pilots in the United States Air Force. He later becomes one of the first jet instructors. During Vietnam, he's instructing young pilots in how to fly the F-4 Phantom. So we have here an interesting individual whose career spans quite a bit of American history, from World War II through the Cold War and into Vietnam. Colonel Haywood and his colleagues were definitely, definitely instrumental in the desegregation of the United States Armed Forces, which occurs under President Truman's watch in July of 1948. America, as well as the world, owes the Tuskegee Airmen quite a debt of gratitude.